clever people, and welcome back to my review for Allied. Allied is Robert Zemeckis' newest film, and it is about um, Brad Pitt and Marion Cotillard. Colliard, I don't know. Um, they meet in um, they meet in I believe Casablanca uh, during World War Two, and they're both spies, and they fall in love. And later, uh, people in England think that um, Mar Marion's character may be um, a German spy. So Brad Pitt must find out, and if she is, he must execute her. This film, I was really looking forward to. It's my least favorite Robert Zemeckis film is Back to the Future 3, which I gave like a 9 out of 10. So I, I was like really hyped. <laughs> but, um... This film did not live up. Um, this is by far Zemeckis' worst. It's not a bad movie. It's good. It's it's okay. It's decent. Um, my uh, I love Castaway, Forrest Gump. I, I love how he can do some uh, something dramatic like Forrest Gump or Castaway, but he can also do something really light heart light hearted like Back to the Future and Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and so. He has a range, and in this, he didn't really do that well, because it was kind of weird toning at parts. Uh, uh, overall, I'm going to start with good. Acting, especially for Marion, was amazing. Everyone was amazing in this movie. Incredibly entertaining and intriguing. Uh, although at parts, you can just tell, like... There, there is a part where you get a specific amount of uh, information, and it kind of gives uh, it away. That's it tells you what happened like five or seven minutes, five to like ten minutes later. So I don't know. Um, the score was actually really good. Uh, I'm pretty sure that um, John Williams has worked with uh, Zemeckis before, so I'm not sure if he did the, this, but the score was really good. But bad, I thought the ending was really anticlimactic and was not done well. And uh, there were a lot of problems with the story. Like, so, Brad Pitt's supposed to execute his own wife, right? Uh, so, the plan to do so is to write um, fake, um, fake news, uh, fake secrets on his bedside table. And if she sends it in, then they know she's a spy, and then he has to kill her. So, why did... Well, Any time, Margaret said, okay, he could have told himself, hey, I don't want my wife to be executed, so I just won't write it down. Then, even if she was a spy, it wouldn't go through. Um, or, they could have just hired someone else to execute her, I mean... Saying, execute your best friend, execute your parents, execute your brother. I mean, that, that that's doesn't make sense. Why, why don't they just have some random person that's never met her before just say, hey, she's a German spy, she needs to be killed. They would kill her without feeling bad. I, I don't understand why Brad Pitt was supposed to. I don't want to spoil anything. It's kind of hard. Uh, not, one thing you need to know going into this film is... The trailers made it look like it was 100% action, which it does not. Um, it is, uh, ironically, I liked the first half more, even though I was expecting a ton of, um, thrill I was expecting a thriller, but the first half is them meeting and falling in love. The second half is the German spy thing. Yeah, my, my, I liked the first half more, if the second half was like, first act, then we would have a good romance film. Uh, yeah. I will give a, well, overall, Allied would I'm not sure if it would be worth a, a watch in theaters. If you have movie pass like I do, maybe. I mean, Moana doesn't look that great. Nothing else that's out right now unless you, you live unless you live in Hollywood or New York and you can see Miss Sloan or Lion or you haven't seen Nocturnal Animals or any of the movies that came out last weekend yet. So, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't see it. Unless 
you have like a discounted ticket. Uh, I I would wait for Redbox or wait till it's on TV. Um, I will give Allied a six point five out of ten. Um, I guess that concludes my review. I'm Connor Gilbert, and this has been the Clever Critic. Goodbye.